All right, y'all, you already know. So we got some news coming with the war going on between Israel and the Gaza Strip. Per the Washington Post, it's saying that the U.S. won't withhold aid to Israel, walking back threats over conditions in Gaza. Per the article, United States will not hold, or excuse me, will not withdraw military aid from Israel. The State Department said on Tuesday after top Biden administration officials warned a month ago that if they not if they would not consider doing so, the floor, the flow of human humanitarian aid to Gaza did not into Gaza did not improve. You know, we know the war has been going on for a year. I know a lot of people from from Gaza ended up invading Israel, took a lot of people hostage. I believe there are still hundreds of people that are hostage over there. I believe over what, 30, 40,000 people from Gaza have passed away due to Israel's bombings. A lot of them being innocent women and children or just innocent people in general. And, um, you know, look, this is going from the Biden administration. I know Israel is going to sigh as happy that Trump's supposed to be in office. But hopefully we can bring peace to that area because, you know, we don't we don't want to see things like this escalate. As I said in the previous video yesterday, I also seen where they said that Israel launched uh the missile strikes in beirut they did warn people to evacuate from 11 buildings but of course several people was killed and it's just it's just a sad situation all the way around um but hopefully now that we got a new administration and he's vowed to end the wars in the middle east and in europe quickly hopefully we can get we can get this done i know historically wars have always been big um, World War II actually helped stimulate the American economy and even a lot of econo economies, Germany, for instance, they were they were in a recession prior to their military getting up. Stalin ended up taking Russia from a, a, basically a, a country of, of more agricultural to a superpower within 20 years. But a lot of it was sped up during uh, when the Germany invaded the Soviet Union, I believe, in 1940. 1940 early 1941 so we know that but ever since that we've had nuclear weapons whether they are, are, are big or small nuclear weapons war is not is no longer good it do, no longer stimulates the economy at all for anyone and we now have uh f mo 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 a lot of people that have cell phones you have websites like twitter or, or x where things can no longer be hidden from the media you know back in the day when we had what cbs nbc a couple other stations and we, whatever you saw was what came through them but now you can see how horrible war is and really for everybody affected you know so i just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think